Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Guy family. Today's video is gonna be me getting ready for the day because I have a few other videos to film and I have a few errands to run. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Bretman Rock and ColourPop collection in the Lit Bundle. I did a poll on Instagram whether or not you want me to use this one or the Africa collection from Juvia's Place and Bretman Rock's collection won by far. <laughs> so I'm going to be using this to do my makeup today. I'm just going to get right into it, I guess. Also, before we start, subscribe. And let's take a moment to acknowledge the little squatters that I have going on my face right now. I don't have names for them. They are unwanted visitors. They can just go away right now. Also, I don't know why, but I decided to pick at my face before I started filming. That was a really dumb idea. I'm a picker, a scratcher, a popper. I'm that sort of person. <sighs> anyway, let's do this video. I'm also going to try and use some products on my face that I have not used before other than primer and foundation. Yes, I'm gonna try a new concealer. Shocking, right? <laughs> I have not actually used this collection on my face before. I just got it in the mail the other day and I wanted to try it out on my face. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Concealer Pomade on my eyes to use as an eyeshadow base. So this is what the palette looks like. There's that cute little homage to the Filipino family. Bretman's wearing the Filipiniana dress. So cute. And this is what the palette looks like. There is some glitter on the front there. I mean, I'm not gonna, you guys have seen this collection. I mean, for sure. This is what it looks like on the inside. And I'm just gonna experiment with the colors. I'm gonna go and do the shape of whatever and use that to set down the concealer that I put. And as I usually like to do when I'm trying out new eyeshadow palettes, I'm gonna try and use every single shade in the palette to create this look. I'm trying to not raise my eyebrows now every time I do my makeup because it's giving me wrinkles up here. So I'm trying a new method where I tilt my head like this so that I get full access to my eyelid and apply my eyeshadow that way, but I don't think it's really working for me. But I don't want wrinkles, so. I gotta get used to this. <laughs> and I'm gonna go into the shade Macchiato and apply that in the crease as well. So far these shades are blending out really, really nicely and they are quite buildable. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Like and just build that in the same spot, just building up that color there. These shades are blending out so nicely. She ain't playing. Brother Rock, you ain't playing. Now I'm gonna go into this shade Period and take that one and apply that maybe on the inner part of my eye here and then I'm going to go into the shade Clear Amore and apply that right on the inner part of my eye okay now I really want to deepen up this look in the outer corner so I'm just gonna go back into Macchiato and like and build that up on the outer corner of my eye Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some glitter primer. This one is the NYX Glitter Primer, and this one is really, really sticky, y'all. Like, this one really works. I find it's better than the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This one is actually really, really good. And I'm just gonna take that and apply it to the inner corners of my eyes. Sort of like a cut crease, but this glitter glue doesn't have any pigmentation in it. It's basically just laying down a glue for all the shimmery shadows that I'm going to be placing on top. Okay, now that that's nice and tacky, I'm just gonna go in with my finger and go into the shade She Got Money and apply that on the inner corner of my eye. Ooh, she ain't playing, she ain't playing. Can you see how shimmery that is? That's so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go in again with my finger and go into the shade Mercy and apply that right here. My fingernails are so gross. I am so sorry you had to see that. Okay, that's really pretty or whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna go in again with that with a brush this time and just redefine that shade. All right, now for the absolute inner, inner, inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna go into the shade Bading and apply that just right here. 
Okay, before I finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna go in with the rest of my face. And while I know that I usually skip over showing you the foundation concealer part of it, there are a few other face products that I wanna try out today, so I'm just gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna prime my face and apply foundation off camera because those are just the usual, usual ones that I use. And then I'll be back and we'll try out the new things that I wanna try on my face, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, I know my foundation is too light for me. It is now summer here and I think I'm gonna have to find a shade darker than my normal, usual, cooler weather shade. <laughs> the new concealer I wanted to try is the same one that I used for my eyeshadow base. I'm just gonna take some of that L'Oreal 24 hour concealer pomade and take that on a sponge and use that concealer under my eyes as well. That is really light for me. <laughs> Oops. It's blending out really, really nicely though. It has a lot of coverage though, like a little bit goes a really, really long way. Like I know it looks really bright in the camera. It doesn't look as bright in person. So I'm not gonna take any extra. I'm just gonna bring that concealer up to my forehead, my upper lip and my chin where I have a fair bit of darkness as well. Okay, before I go in with any powders, I'm going to try this L'Oreal Infallible. It's a foundation stick, but I got it in a shade a lot darker than I need for me. Maybe this is the shade I need now for the summer, but I'm gonna use it as contouring. I haven't really done a whole lot of cream contouring in the past, but I have just wanted to try it just for something different. And yeah, I'm just gonna go in and contour with this. I swatched it when I first received it and it's a little bit orange like for a contour stick you kind of want something that's a little bit more cooler toned but this is all I have and I wanted to try it so I will let's see how that blends out okay that's not so bad it's probably actually the shade of foundation that I needed to have <laughs> just the undertone of it is a little bit orange for me okay so it's blending out nicely and giving me a nice contour to the face. I think next time I might try this as just my foundation. It kind of smells like sunscreen. Does this have any SPF in it? No, it doesn't. And before we apply any powder on top of that, I'm gonna go into the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush, which is also part of the collection. I don't know if this is from the Wet or the Lit collection. This is the one in the shade Ooh, She Blushing. And I'm just gonna go in with that on the cheekbones. Okay, that needs to calm down. Needs to calm down. Will she pigmented or whatever? <laughs> I think this look will look a whole lot better once I finish under the eyes. Any brightness I may have had under the eyes from that concealer is now kind of gone. It's just blended out while I was applying that blush. So I'm just gonna go in with a tiny little bit more and just apply it right here and use my finger to blend it out this time and then we'll go in with some powder and set all of that in okay for powder i wanted to try the maybelline master fix powder i've heard a lot of good things about this i've heard that it's a very very fine powder hopefully it doesn't take away any brightness that i have under the eyes but uh, let's just give it a try shall we okay so it's setting all of that in quite nicely it does need a fair bit of blending but it's actually really helping to calm down my nose contour. <laughs> my under eyes aren't looking any more crepey than normal. I found I'm developing a whole lot of wrinkles under the eyes. That might also partly be because I've been neglecting my skincare for the last few weeks. So I like this powder. Usually I can tell first off if I do or don't like a powder, but this one's actually quite good. I'm just gonna go in with that on the rest of the face just to set in all of that cream products that I applied. I wouldn't normally set my face with this amount of powder, but now that it's getting warmer, my face is producing a whole lot more oils than it normally does. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this broken Morphe brush. I don't know why I'm still using this. I have like a million other brushes, but this one's just like my holy grail. And I'm just gonna go in with a bit of bronzer. Let's finally finish up these eyes, shall we? I'm going to go in with a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. Oh, actually. I have the lit collection, the lip, the lit lip collection as well, which is this one here. And it has a lippy pencil, an ultra glossy lip, and a ultra satin lip. But this pencil, while I know it is a lip pencil, I actually kind of want to apply this in my waterline. And so I'm going to do that. Ooh, that's one way to fog up your contact lenses. 
Now I'm gonna go in with a small tipped brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Macchiato and Like and Period and just blend those three under the lower lash line. And I've really been enjoying the blown out lower lash line look recently. I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I used in my crease and just blend that out even further. I'm just gonna reapply some of that shade Clea Amore in the inner corner here. And I'm also going to reapply some of that shade budding in the inner corner as well. It actually looks kind of pink in the pan, but it's coming out golden. It has a really golden shift to it when you apply it. Okay, now because this collection doesn't actually have a highlight in it, I'm going to take some of that shade Badin and apply that on the high points of my face. I actually really like the way that this eyeshadow applies as highlight. It's got a pink golden shift to it. Oh. Right. Now I'm going to go in with mascara, eyeliner, and eyebrows off camera, and I'll be right back. I'm back. This is taking me way too long. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in with that lip liner. This one is in the shade Dukes, and I'm just going to line the lips with that and slightly overdraw as well. Okay, this is looking kind of vampy. Now I'm going to go in with the Ultra Satin Lip. This one is in the shade Wig. And I'm just going to apply that on the lips. Oh, I love that color. Now while I'm waiting for the lips to dry before I apply the gloss on top, I wanted to apply some of this glitterly obsessed glitter to my eyes. But upon looking at it, it says body use only. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about bright red glitter on my body but you know what why not I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take some of this beautiful reddish golden glitter and apply some of that on the body because that's what it says it's for I wanted to apply some of the eyes but I probably shouldn't do that that's pretty now I'm gonna find glitter everywhere now Hmm. Not sure how I feel about body glitter like this. Like, I'll have glitter on my eyes any day, but body glitter like this, not so sure. But you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, I'm now destined to find red glitter everywhere now for the rest of my YouTube career. Just like the green glitter herpes that Mikey on Glam and Gore has. Now that the lips have somewhat dried down, they are a satin lip, so they are not transfer proof. I'm going to go in with the ultra glossy lip, and this one is in the shade I See You, and apply that in the center of my lips. This one is a really beautiful, goldeny, glittery lip topper sort of gloss. Ooh, it's got a different applicator than the usual ones. And I'm going to apply that right in the center of my lips. Because I do have such a dark pigment underneath, the golden itself isn't really showing up. But it's a really nice lip topper. But it's ending up all over my teeth, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't really like this applicator. It's a nice, wet, glowy look though. Okay, so I think I've used everything in this Bretman Rock ColourPop collection. Let's not talk about how my eyebrows aren't even sisters. They're not even twins. They're not even remotely related. With the shape that they are right now but i suck at brows so don't expect instagram brows right here <laughs> i'm gonna set in all this makeup with my ofra makeup fixer okay and uh, that completes this look Okay, so that completes this video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me use this entire Bretman Rock Lit Collection. I do also have the Wet Collection, so I might even do another separate video using that. But I wanted to do something a little bit glowy and 
burgundy and Christmassy. <laughs> I know you can wear this look any other time of the year, but add a little bit of glitter and it becomes holiday. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very happy with how this look turned out. I'm so incredibly proud of Bretman Rock with coming out with this collaboration with ColourPop and I'm just so happy to see the Filipino community being represented in this huge, huge way in the beauty community. So yeah, congratulations Bretman Rock. I really enjoyed using these products. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so be sure to turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. I also have a giveaway video coming up. You're gonna want to turn on the notification bell to stay tuned for that giveaway. Follow me on all my other social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geeka, the same across the board. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I really, really appreciate that you have chosen to spend your time here with me today. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mail the other day. <laughs> like this smells like plastic bubbles. Now I'm gonna go in with a smaller tipped blending brush. This one's dirty. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. An ultra gross, grossy. Make up with my op, op, Oprah. Have you turned it? I do, you put, because I don't want to get sued or anything.